So this is the list, it's giant, 8,300 names, and the pro-ISIS hacking groups behind these so-called kill lists want them to sound terrifying. This list was released on the social media platform Telegram. It came with a message, we will kill them all together. And the people who do this want to frighten people. They want to make people look at their neighbors sideways, and they do this to overwhelm police forces. So who's on the list? Well, if you look at it, most of the names are American. There are 151 Canadians on the list. It's their names, their email addresses, and their street addresses. They seem to be random civilians. Uh, most of the Canadians are women who are coming from smaller centers in Canada, and they don't appear to have been chosen for any particular reason. So we analyze this data. 71% of the Canadian emails on the list appear to have been breached at one point. So that's either a LinkedIn hack or something from MySpace or Adobe, for example. And some of the data is actually a few years old. So it's possible this group got this data from an old hacking incident or maybe a public source and then decided to release it this way. In the last year or so, there have been 19 of these so-called kill lists, but never anything like this. Just to give you a sense of it, since March, various pro-ISIS hacker groups have released nine kill lists. Most of them have been very small, all aimed at Americans, specifically at police, military personnel, and some government workers. In April, there was a list of 4,000 New York residents, and then there was this. So the big question now is, now what? We have spoken with several police forces in this country who say they're aware of the list, they're in the process of telling people who are on the list that they are on it. They officially have a duty to inform the Canadians on this list of what's going on. It's not an easy conversation. It will probably go something like, don't worry too much, uh, don't be terribly alarmed, you are on the list, but there's never been any indication that anyone on one of these lists has been harmed. There's no doubt some people will be alarmed, and most certainly this will be a huge drain on police resources, which is exactly the point. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, Toronto.